Hey everyone, this is Leadbetter17P. Today we're going to do a look at a free-to-play massive multiplayer online role-playing game or MMORPG called Runes of Magic. Now, this was developed by a Taiwanese uh, developer, uh, Rune Waker Entertainment, and has been adapted for the English and German people that want to play by a German company called Frogster Interactive. Uh, it's a, like I said, it's a free download. You can go right to their site and get their uh, download for it. Let's see, this game's been around since 2009. Now you can make new characters. We're gonna show you that real quick. If you go under create, you can, you can customize your character, you know, skin color, hair color, hairstyle, face, everything. But here you got your races. You got human, elf, or dwarf. This is what a human female looks like. Actually, that's a human male. My bad. <laughs> and uh, this is what a elf looks like. And this is a dwarf. I tend to like the human characters. Uh, but with each race, you can choose any of these classes you can go warrior scout rogue mage priest or knight so what we're gonna do is go back I already have a character made this is my level 2 uh, human mage so we're gonna go ahead and choose the channel that I'm on Artemis 1 and enter world and wait for that to load now like I said this game has been around since 2009 uh, then it was relaunched in 2010 with an update and so on they've done a quite a bit of updates to it uh, different chapters uh, such as the elder kingdoms the elven prophecy lands of despair and the, their latest chapter which is the one we're playing now which is uh, fires of shadow forge uh, it was released on June 12th of 2012 but it's a pretty fun game, in my opinion. Graphics-wise, it's probably one of the better ones out there. Uh, I used to play Rohan Blood Feud quite a bit. So, finding one that was real similar graphics-wise was important to me. Alright, so this is where you start your game. In the Pioneer's, uh, Pioneer, yeah, Pioneer's Colony. So let's take a look at... Let's get away from all the noise real quick, actually. We'll run over here. You can jump in this game, which is kind of neat. Kind of brings like a World of Warcraft feel to the game. There's another online player right there as we speak. That's kind of cool. But we're going to run right over here and just kind of hang out with the horses. But basically, in this game, we'll take a look at our uh, screen first. Top left, you have your character avatar, which shows you your level, your health and mana, uh, what channel you're on, and so on. Top right-hand side, you have your mini-map, which you can zoom in and out on your mini-map, which is kind of cool. Tells you what, where you're at on the map. Then you get a whole bunch of little things around it, like announcements, uh, tell you if it's morning or night, uh, battlefield, uh, restore interface defaults, and so on. Uh, diamond buying, which is kind of like an item shop thing. Bottom right, you have your item shop, your backpack, which is your inventory, which is this right here. Uh, you have your transport book and your functions. If you click on functions, it'll tell you what buttons you need to press to, like, if you want to get in your skills, you press K, you want to get into quests, you press L, guild, G, you know, and so on. Uh, Graphics-wise, the game's pretty good. I mean, it's a little laggy at times, depends on where you're at, and depends on what you're running on your computer with it. Like, I'm running Fraps to record this right now, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I might be lagging just a little bit at times, so it's not too bad. Howling Mountains, I like how it pops up across there telling you 
you know, what is, you know, what, like, what part of the map you're on as you're walking. All right. So, yeah, that's quite a bit. I mean, graphics-wise, it's pretty good. I mean, it looks good. The trees look really nice. The surroundings look nice. Uh, controls are a little wonky. I'm used to, like, you use WSAD to, to, uh, to move around. W goes forward, S goes backwards. A and D just sidestep. Now, and all the other ones I've played, A and D turn like this. So to turn like that, you got to press Q and E. So that's a little different, but you can go into, uh, let's see. We go into hotkeys. Yeah, you can go in here and, uh, and change them. So like if I wanted to change this to turn left, turn right, and then just move left and move right. And then click OK. Now it's back to where, like, something I'm used to. Which is, I'd rather have it set like that, in my opinion. I still use the mouse to look around. Alright, now the fighting portion of this game. Let's see if we can find something to fight. There should be, oh yeah, this stuff right there. Fungus, which is a humanoid. These are level 1. We'll go ahead and attack that with one of our skills. Boom. Now, skills in this game are pretty good, uh, depending on your character class. Now, the sparkle means you drop something. You drop the mushroom stem. And so on. But yeah, this is pretty much the game. I mean, there's a lots of quests. Uh, actually, let's go back. The fighting in the game is not bad. Let's run back to the town here real quick and, and show you guys. Like, how you'd have to go about a quest. Now, when you, you see all these people, these are NPCs. You can talk to any of them. Uh, but if you see one that has this little question or exclamation point above their head, that right there means they have a quest for you. Like, that person's got a quest for me. There's two over here that have different quests, which is really cool. And pretty much you just walk up to them right click on them and then you can choose which one and accept it and so on uh, let's go ahead and kill something else real quick let's see if we can find something other than wow let's go see what this person's doing that's different that's definitely different Alright, so that's a level 3 wolf I saw that was over here. Wolf cub. We're going to attack that. Oh, obstacle between you and the target. Alright, so we can attack it. We can attack this, though. And, of course, if they walk behind you while you're trying to attack, your attack will stop. That is one thing I do not like. That was an easy kill. One shot. Another mushroom stem. See if I can get that wolf cub now. Now yeah, I got him about half life with it. It's not bad. Let's see what he drops. Leather leg guards. All right, now when you get stuff like that, as you see, they're right there. I need to be level three for it. But to equip it, I, you know, once I'm level three, you press C to open up character. Like, I have apprentice trousers. Let's see if I can make a level real quick for you guys. Or something. I should be able to do it. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to make a level. Oh, forgot I'm turned around. Alright. Now, you can move stuff to your quick launch, too, which is really nice. Like, I want to put my mana potions down there. We're going to put those down there. 
use one of those real quick. All right, I want to get to I want to get a level so I can show you guys how to equip stuff. All right, target dead. He dropped. Oh, he see he dropped a simple first aid potion. More mushroom stems. Let's run up here, see what we can find. Let's see, that's a level two enemy. I should be pretty close to a level here pretty soon. So he dropped shell, which is what? What was that? Plus six magical defense. Now, I don't know if I can put those anywhere up here. Cannot be used, yeah. There's so many different things in this game that you can you can do and you can't do. Like those are level ones. I want to try to find something. Level there we go. There's a couple level twos down here. They're running away. Target too far away, the first one was. Alright, let's see. But as you see graphic wise, this game is pretty decent. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it's not going to be up there the greatest. It's not going to be 100% realistic. But, you know, you got shadows and everything. You know, you can adjust all that and turn it off if you want. There we go. That is now level 3, so I want to use my leather leg guard. So what I want to do is press C and go in here. Take the apprentice ones off, move them to my inventory. And then in turn take these and put them... Cannot be used. Why is that? Requires level 3 leather... I guess I'm not able to use them yet. But yeah, that's all you have to do to... Oops. Basically to put something on. There we go. You just drag and drop. Just like so. Alright, let's see if we can run back to the town real quick. Now in your um, your character screen here, while we're running back to town, you can, this is all your like rings and armor and you got weapon skills crafting skills, all your different emotes, like we can make him do the angry one, make him look like he's speaking, and so on. You have your class list, it'll tell you all that fun, fun stuff. Then you have your events, like how many shells, and instance challenges, battle challenges, and so on. So there you guys go, this is a look at Runes of Magic for PC. It's a free-to-play MMO. Uh, it's a fun game, in my opinion, if you're into MMOs and massive uh, multiplayer online games. Uh, Graphics-wise, I give it a 10 out of 10. Control-wise, I give it like an 8 out of 10 because you have to go in and change your controls. But that's not bad. So there you guys go. If you like what you see, go ahead and click the like button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section with any questions or concerns. And if you uh, have any suggestions on games that I should do reviews on, just let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And that's pretty much it right there. So this is Ledbetter17P. Thanks for watching.